to get fit and healthier in the new year, we shouldn't forget to care for our brains, including making sure that we're eating the right foods. There are foods that really support our brain. To share more about powerful brain food, welcome renowned nutritionist, health expert, and author, Dr. Johnny Bowden. It's so good to have you here. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. How you doing? Thank you. All right. Another suge suggestion you have is swapping out oils. We yes. all use, let's not kid ourselves, a little bit of oil in our There's cooking. There's nothing wrong with oil. Here's the problem. We've been all told to use all this vegetable oil, corn oil, safflower oil, sunflower oil, canola oil. It's all fine. We eat too much of that, mm -hmm. and that creates inflammation. We've been so afraid of saturated fat that we've substituted all this corn oil and, and, and vegetable oil for the saturated fat, and that's been a big mistake, and here's why. First of all, the new research is showing saturated fat doesn't even cause heart disease. It's pretty much an innocent bystander. What? Yeah. And second of all, some of these saturated fats, like, for example, Malaysian palm oil. People are so afraid of palm oil. This actually yes, helps the you brain. Don't do you know that. why that's red? Because of all the anti oxidants in it and also really? the the uh, tocotrienols in palm oil actually protect against stroke damage after you've had a stroke this is a very good oil to swap in with your vegetable oil so that you're not always using vegetables okay. use some butter use some malaysian palm oil and it's in a lot of other products as well so when you see palm oil don't be afraid don't it's, be it's afraid of that good. and what about this versus olive oil Which they're both excellent either different one kinds okay. of fats both very good for you neither of them is inflammatory and that's the important thing